Every day, thousands of Delawareans are busy living their lives. Whether old or young, working in an office, or going to school, we almost obey the same laws. Laws which are made, carried out, and interpreted by our state government. There are three branches of Delaware government that work with laws, and each contributes to them in a unique and important way. The legislative branch, which includes the Senate and Assembly, makes the laws. The executive branch, which includes the governor and his cabinet departments, carries out the laws. Finally, the judicial branch, which includes the courts, interprets the laws after they are enacted. Interpreting Delaware's laws is a big responsibility and the role of justices. They look very official in their dark robes and preside over hushed courtrooms. They make important legal decisions that affect all of us. It's hard to believe they were once young and had to learn about laws and the courts, just like you. But Justice Montgomery Reeves hasn't forgotten. I'm just like a lot of the kids who are, you know, probably gonna watch this video. I went to Jackson Public School District in Jackson, Mississippi, and Timberlawn Elementary, Sywell uh, Middle School, and Forest Hill High School. Um, and I was very involved in activities in my school. I was on student council and honor society. Uh, I was a pageant person and on the drill team and in the choir and was just very involved uh, in my school and in my community. Justice Montgomery Reeves serves on Delaware's Supreme Court, the highest court in Delaware. Yet she first learned about the law like everyone else. So I didn't have any real, you know, encounters with the law other than TV, right? Like I watched Law and Order, like most people, and you know, that was sort of my, those are my initial encounters with the law, and I thought I knew a lot about the law based on those uh, TV shows. But it was really her grandmother who inspired her to seriously consider the law as a career. She did not graduate from high school or college, but she talked to me always about the importance of knowing your rights um, and about the importance of being able to uh, represent, defend uh, people who didn't know their rights and the importance of upholding the law and being aware of the law. Uh, and so she encouraged me actually to become a lawyer and to become involved in the legal system. So Justice Montgomery Reeves enrolled in law school thinking she would become a criminal lawyer. But in law school you take all sorts of different classes. You don't just focus on what it is that you think you want to do as a lawyer. One of those classes that I took was a class called Corporations. Corporations is really about uh, the inner workings of big companies, and they're companies that we all know about, like Walmart and Tesla and Facebook and Twitter. Delaware is the home to many, many companies, sort of like it's my home and your home. That means that when there are disputes about the inner workings of the companies, Delaware law applies. And so I was sitting in Georgia taking a class about corporate law and focusing on Delaware courts. And I noticed case after case after case was out of court right here in Delaware. And so I talked to my professor. I loved that class. I loved corporate law. And I talked to my professor about that. And he said, you know, you should think about going to Delaware and starting your career out by clerking, working with a judge in the Delaware courts. And that's how I moved from criminal law to corporate law and how I ended up in Delaware. The courts of Delaware include the Supreme Court, the Court of Chancery, the Superior Court, the Family Court, the Court of Common Pleas, and the Justice of the Peace Court. Justice Montgomery Reeves sits on the Supreme Court and is one of five judges who make decisions on cases that began in the lower courts and have been appealed. Probably the best way to think about how the courts work is to think of a pyramid. You have the base of a pyramid and then you have the apex of the pyramid, the top of the pyramid. Uh, the Supreme Court is at the top of the pyramid. Uh, at the base of the pyramid, we have our JP courts, our Justice of the Peace courts, um, that hear certain types of cases. If cases are appealed, they move up through the court pyramid, and some are ultimately heard in the Supreme Court. The legal decisions made there are considered final in the Delaware courts. To have such an important job means Justice Montgomery Reeves must clearly understand her role. As a judicial officer, it is your job to determine what the applicable law is, 
to determine what the facts are and to determine the proper outcome under the law and the facts. I really like that role. I love my job. Besides sitting on the bench, Justice Montgomery Reeves also enjoys teaching so, and sharing her career experiences with others who plan to work in the judicial system. I love talking with students and getting to know people. I really enjoyed sort of giving them some real world um, insight into what it's like to practice law, what it's like to clerk, now what it's like to be on the bench. I really enjoy meeting people who are young and excited and, you know, considering these careers and, and making those connections and trying to help them figure out, you know, what they're going to do next in their lives and their careers. As part of her teaching role, Justice Montgomery Reeves also encourages her students by making them aware of other career paths in the legal field besides the familiar ones. There are lots of different careers that you can have um, in the judiciary. Uh, that may not be the judge or the attorney. Uh, for example, you have a, a stenographer or a court reporter. That's a person whose job it is to record every single thing that happens at trial. And they uh, are very talented and they certify what they do and they create the record uh, for everything that happens in trial. Uh, there is the court clerk who calls the court to order. Uh, that person meets with the lawyers and the litigants before court. They explain the rules, they tell them what to expect and what's going to happen, uh, and then they call the court to order before the judges walk in or as the judges are walking in. There are judicial assistants who assist uh, with the running of chambers and making sure that the judges, you know, uh, are able to do the things that they need to do. There are law clerks who um, work directly with the judges and help the judges to research uh, issues, to write opinions about issues. Uh, there are paralegals. Paralegals are um, legal professionals who help with research and analysis. Justice Montgomery Reeves clearly believes it's important to share her understanding of the judicial branch of the government, how it impacts all our lives, and the many opportunities to work in the legal field. She also believes that each of you has the ability to follow in her footsteps. If you'd like to sit in this chair, if you'd like to be a lawyer one day, or you, if you'd like to be a judge one day, that's absolutely something that you can do. All you have to do is to really pay attention to the moment that you're in, the social studies class you're in, the math class you're in, the science class you're in, and um, dig in, work hard to learn those things and to master them. Make relationships with your teachers. Teachers uh, are a great resource. They know the thing that they're trying to teach you, first of all, but they also have lots of connections. You know, you're in the fourth grade now, they know what middle school is like, they know what high school is like. Um, you know, make those connections and, you know, just really believe in yourself and who you're going to be. There is nothing special about me other than my sheer desire to do this and my determination to do it. You can do it too.